Here we all are now, almost 30 years after Glenn and John went undercover in St. Louis, Missouri. A new generation is taking to the streets as we wonder, has the country reached a turning point? Among those marching, John's youngest son, Gus, a junior at McAllister College. I was shown my father's true color segment when I was around eight or nine. I think that seeing that somewhat laid a foundation for my thought carrying forward. Glenn's oldest daughter, Elena, is now married and teaching in the city where we filmed, St. Louis. She says she and her sisters are devoted to dad's family legacy. The same Glenn Brewer that you saw on film is the same Glenn Brewer that raised his three daughters. He always taught us that there's this underlying sense of hope. You cannot give up the fight, which is why I believe I became an educator. Abin and Alex filed an official complaint with HUD and declined to reveal the appraiser's name while that is under review. So where do they think the fight begins? They are thinking about ways to make sure other people are not shortchanged. So I think, I think there is a potential there for change, especially kind of on the policy side. The first thing is that there probably needs to be a lot more uh, diversity in the appraisal business. And hoping appraisers will ask questions of themselves during this process. Do you really understand how you're making the decision? They'll think to themselves, oh, there's just something I don't like about that person, <laughs> right? I think that everywhere you go, you are making a million split-second decisions about everyone you see. There needs to be accountability and reform. This is about how we value people in this country. And we have got to change this because everyone deserves a shot at the American dream. But while we're waiting for the world to change, what will Abena and Alex tell their six-year-old son? When our son grows up and he's able to buy his own home, I really do hope and I do feel like things could be different. I think I'm just going to tell him my stories. I'm going to be transparent with him. But do you worry it will in some way make him trim his sails, his adventure, his dreams? Every day, every day I'm concerned about that. I feel as though he's a little boy who should be able to walk into a room, um, be who he is, be proud of that, um, and not shrink in any way. Um, but at the same time, I don't want him to get the hard lesson in reality, that he may, he may be treated differently. And this from our testers 30 years ago. My phone is never out of reach. And I think one of the more powerful tools that we have is to get visual evidence of what's going on and what has happened. I think my strategy is, if I can see it, is really to try to call it out or to question it or to, to confront it. You know, it's not always easy to do. Today, looking around, do you think something has changed? Do you think that it is a true tectonic change on this issue? I want to say that it is. I continue to want to be optimistic. I believe so. You have enough people who I believe have good hearts and good spirits, and they're also standing with African Americans to say enough is enough. We are, as a country, better than that, and, and it's time to start living up to that promise. It's long past time to start living up to that promise. Our thanks to Diane. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.